An anti-Putin blogger was murdered in a French hotel, and the killing has the hallmarks of the Russian hit squad causing chaos in Europe. Here's a summary of the article. Screenshot, YouTube, bot tack. French police believe the murder of a blogger from the disputed Russian region of Chechnya in a French hotel room last week was politically motivated, according to a French police official briefed on the case. The official said that police are now hunting for the man's traveling companion, who disappeared shortly after the murder. French investigators wish to speak with the Chechen man who accompanied Imran Aliyev from his home in Belgium to northern France via train last Wednesday evening, the official said. Aliyev left Belgium Wednesday where he was under police protection because of threats out of Russia and Chechnya over his opposition blogging, said the senior French police official. The official said that France has not yet contacted Russia for any assistance in the case. We had him under police protection for a reason, said the official, who refused to discuss the identity or movements of the witness being sought by France. Asked if the victim had notified the Belgian authorities of his plan to cross the border into France on Wednesday or of any security coordination was done with France, the Belgian official refused to directly comment. This post received a score of 89,652, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Greater than hallmarks of the Russian hit squad happens enough apparently that everyone knows what the hallmarks are. Call it a subtle signature. The deliberate subtle signature. I left the sink on. That's my signature. This is the second wet bandit joke I've seen in this thread lol. Time to change into the sticky bandits then. That's sticky. S-T-I-I. Throat slit. I thought the Russians were into polonium sugar cubes. They insert the sugar cubes directly into the esophagus. Then apply directly to the forehead. Kalashnikov, apply directly to the forehead. Kalashnikov, apply directly to the forehead. Kalashnikov, apply directly to the forehead. Chat disabled. It's almost like Russia wants the world to know they can assassinate anyone, anywhere, with impunity. They've been messing up as well though, such as with the attempted hack on the OPCW where Dutch authorities tracked them from the moment they set foot on Dutch soil and busted them in the act. Edit, here is an article about how sloppy they are edit too, also Dutch intelligence watched in real time through hijacked cameras how the DNC hack happened https colon slash slash arstechnica.com slash information dash technology slash 2018 slash 01 slash Dutch dash intelligence dash hacked dash video dash cameras dash in dash office dash of dash Russians dash who dash hacked dash DNC slash further they supplied the US with info that the Russians violated the INF also they managed to track over. Yes but where are the consequences? Probably for the people that busted them in the act. Exactly. Putin has called the Cold War bluff. Russian has nukes. We have nukes. But it doesn't matter. Since no one will use them, no one can escalate to do what is necessary to resolve the Putin problem. So he's immune to consequence. I guess the question becomes, how immune is he to economic isolation from the West? Good thing we have strong leadership with zero financial ties to Russia that can handle this without any conflicts of interest. Greater than good thing we have strong leadership with zero financial ties to Russia that can handle this without any conflicts of interest. Dismay when you can't tell if referring to the UK or US. The one ran by the lousy conservative with questionable hair. Is he the one that lies all the time? Or the one with a history of marital infidelity? Russia openly killing other countries' citizens is extremely bold. Imagine if they did it somewhere like London using a banned chemical warfare agent that is lethal in amounts as small as 0.000001 gram. Oh wait. Why would you think that? I heard they were just heading to see the world-famous Salisbury Cathedral. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.